So I ate like Andrew Huberman for a whole week to see if it does anything to my body. You either know or you don't know who is Andrew Huberman. So why did I pick Andrew Huberman exactly and why should he be even trusted? So Andrew Huberman is a Stanford University professor of neurobiology and he's generally a really popular figure around longevity and health topics on media who specifically realized on scientifically based data. He uses one of the most famous database key factors in his diet like first things first, hydration in the morning, delay of caffeine, low carbohydrate meals, and then evening meals are more oriented towards carbohydrates and more starchy foods. One thing that I want you to keep in mind while watching the video is that my measurements are really different from Huberman's. I mean, what is this? It's literally a stick. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? And like compared to Huberman, he would literally like smash me. Smash me. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I meant. First things first is breakfast, where I will talk about hydration, caffeine, and exercise that Huberman does when he wakes up right away. Rise and shine. He takes a glass of water with lemon, which is like really common for me. That's easy, baby. But the additional thing that he adds to his water is salt. And the reason behind him doing so is because based on his own experience and research, people on low carbohydrate diets are sodium deficient. So what do I mean exactly by that? So people on low carbohydrate diets tend to consume less processed foods, therefore they get a lower intake of salt into their body. Because usually people on lower carb diet tend to be more into a healthier lifestyle and are more active, therefore their body just limits the intake of salt. After that, what I did, I actually went to work out because Huberman states that working out on an empty stomach is actually beneficial for you. Based on his research, Huberman states that training on an empty stomach can train your body to better utilize fat into fuel. Skinny legend. And that part was also nothing special in my routine because that's what I usually do. I always do workouts right in the morning, sometimes after lunch. And he specifically focuses on strength-based exercise because they are the ones that are going to deplete glycogen, glycogen stores. I'm so like... I'm so new to this, honestly. For this video, I specifically focused on foods, so the whole workout part was left on me. So the third part in the morning is caffeine. So caffeine intake comes only after 90 to 120 minutes after waking up to avoid the caffeine crushes that might come later during the day. because he's gonna get most of the benefits of caffeine right after the exercise and that's what I do right after my workout I always make my bulletproof coffee with collagen MCT oil I drink it with cream and what else? yeah and that's it so now going for lunch lunch so Andrew's first meal of the day is always based on low carb so he states that lower carb meals right in the morning give him a better mental clarity so his meals usually consist of meats so it's a steak and vegetables he also likes butter which he will usually add to his steak because butter consists of a lot of benefits butter consists of different fatty acids like oh my god like i will like i don't know how to pronounce them cla and butterate like the fat butter butterate butterate Butter eight. Butter eight. And butter consists of vitamin A in the most bioavailable form. I literally love butter. I usually would also include something starchy, so that was a bit different. Like I would have rice, potatoes on the side. So this time was a bit different because I had to avoid all of this. So, dinner. Generally speaking, Andrew keeps his calorie intake in the afternoon lower than he would do it during the lunch. And what he does in the afternoon is that he focuses on foods that are starchy because apparently they make him sleep like a baby. 
rise and shine. He also states that he consumes nuts like almonds and Brazilian nuts, as well as supplements like wheat protein, but that's not for me. I love nuts. These nuts? <laughs> Got it! Especially Brazilian ones because they have a lot of sleep, selenium, selenium. Anyways, it's like really good for your hair and stuff. Another interesting fact on why eating starchy foods before going to bed at least four hours before going to bed can decrease the time of you trying to fall asleep. So if you're having a hard time falling asleep, try eating more starchy foods before going to bed. And it also increases the level of serotonin. 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 I'm so bad with names. Serotonin. Serotonin is happiness hormone would love that and then the other one which i couldn't pronounce is an amino acid that is just useful in many functions in our body so additionally andrew would also include something additional to his dinner like salmon or um tuna like any type of lean protein and he will also just like mix in any vegetables he doesn't focus on which vegetables specifically because we all know that all vegetables contain of water soluble solutions and therefore it really doesn't matter which ones you consume as long as it's a vegetable so last but not least is supplements and hydration so when it comes to supplements again as i mentioned we are all different with different blood tests and that's why i'm saying that i do not specifically need the supplements that huberman takes so therefore i will list all of the supplements that he takes right here and specifically, I I really do take similar ones. I take omega, I take vitamin C, I take vitamin D, magnesium as well before bed. And that's it for now. I hope. And when it comes to hydration, which I will also put something here if I will find, he wrote it once on Twitter. But your intake of water depends on like your body weight. And he basically promotes drinking water every hour. And for me, like that's easy because what I do, I'll show you. I have this water bottle which I was just always like put on my table and carry around and that's why it's really easy for me to see and drink a lot of water. So to sum up this video, this type of diet just overall helps you to feel better, to look better and it's just like beneficial not only for your body but your mental health as well and that's why everything that Huberman states is data-based and that's why I trust it the most because it's data-based. So for me, I can lie to you and say that I saw it different because this is how I have been eating for a while but what I can tell you is that since I've been eating like that it has changed my life from 0 to 100 like not even joking because it just makes me feel really lightweight I've been in my best shape um, if you're trying to lose weight this diet would probably help you lose weight yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below if you can relate to this diet and yeah and don't don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next week bye